Hi, I'm Nikki from Find Me Crafting. It's time to add another animal applique to the Cuddle Buddies baby blanket. There will be nine total patterns, and this pattern brings it to number seven. And what I have for you is a koala. I mean, really, with the fuzzy ears, who wouldn't love this on a blanket? You, of course, can put this applique anywhere else. You think a koala would look awesome. This pattern, as well as all the other patterns for this blanket, are available for free on my website. I'll put a link in the description box down below. This is a very beginner-friendly pattern, and I have full tutorials for every bit of it. Come on, I'll show you how. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new patterns or projects. Here's what you're going to need for supplies. You need some size 4 worsted weight yarn. I'm using Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn in gray beard, black, and white. And for the fur on the ears, I'm using Bernat Pipsqueak in elephant gray. This is a size 5, I believe. You could use some other fuzzy yarn and achieve a similar effect. I am going to be using a G 4 millimeter hook. To begin, you're going to want to crochet the head. And this is the same head shape that I have for most of the other animals in the Cuddle Buddies blanket. So I'm going to have a link up here that walks you through step-by-step step how to make this head if you have any questions. I did make this in the color gray beard. Also for the little paws, I made them in gray beard and I added in little fingers with some black yarn. I'm gonna have a link up here for a step-by-step -step tutorial for these. These are the same as some of the other paws in the Cuddle Buddies blanket. So I'm gonna put a link up here for a step-by-step -step tutorial for how to make these. The only thing that I did different is I added an extra little finger onto these. So I have five little fingers put on with my black yarn, but that tutorial will walk you through each step. Let me show you how to make the koala's ears. I'm gonna start with white yarn and I'm gonna work a magic circle. Now, if you have any trouble at all with magic circles, I'm gonna put a link up here for a slower step-by-step -step tutorial for how to do those. But I am gonna reach through, grab my yarn, and I'm gonna do one chain to lock my magic circle in place. Now, for the ear, we need to start with six single crochets into this magic circle. So I'm gonna go down, pull up a loop, two loops on, yarn over, pull through. That's one. Down, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through, two. So I'm gonna do a total of six. There was three, four, five, and six. Now I want to pull on my starting tail to close this circle. I find if I hold my stitches, they don't twist and get all bunched up. So that's how I keep them flat. But I don't wanna close my circle all the way. I want a half circle at the end of it, not a full circle. So I'm gonna close this up, but I want this edge to be kind of flat and not closed. I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna turn my work. So I wanna be working back along these stitches that I just made instead of continuing in a circle like we typically do with a magic ring. Next, I'm going to do two single crochets into each of those six stitches. So I'm gonna go down under the loops, pull up a loop, two loops on, yarn over, pull through, that's one. Now in the same stitch, I'm gonna go back down through that same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. So that's two in the same stitch. I'm gonna do that for each of these stitches. That'll give me a total of 12 stitches in this row in the white. So I've just finished my 12th single crochet right over here. And instead of going back the other way, I'm gonna turn it slightly. I wanna work along this bottom edge, the one that is kind of uneven. It's the second half of our circle. And I want to just crochet across this to make it a little flatter. Right along this edge, I'm gonna work two single crochets. So here's one. I'm going to skip over this center area here and work one more single crochet. And that brings me back to the first single crochet of that row. I am going to slip stitch under that. I'm gonna go under the loops of my first single crochet from that row. But instead of grabbing my white yarn, I'm gonna grab a tail of the gray beard. I wanna finish this stitch with gray beard. So I'm gonna pull the gray beard under those stitches and through the loop on my hook. 
Now I'm going to chain one with the gray beard and I'm going to drop the white. You can cut the white here. We are done with the white for that ear. Now beginning in the same stitch that I just slip stitched to, I'm going to work a single crochet into that one and in each of the other 11 single crochets till you get back to what was your half circle. We've kind of closed up the bottom here, but we're not working into those anymore. So I've just done one single crochet. Now I'm going to do a second and continue on until you get to 12 single crochets. Once you get over here, when you're beginning your 12th single crochet, I'm going to go down, I'm going to pull up my loop just like this, but instead of finishing off with the gray beard, I want to change colors again. So I'm going to work with my pip squeak yarn now, the fuzzy stuff, and I'm going to grab that loop and pull it through to finish that stitch. I am going to chain one, and now I'm going to work back along these stitches I just did here. You can also trim off the gray beard yarn. I will say though that you want this tail to actually be longer than what I just left it because this is what we're going to use to stitch the ear onto the blanket later. So if you did what I just did and trimmed it off, no big deal. You can add in extra yarn, but if you remember, it'll make your life a little bit easier. So just leave this tail long enough to sew it on later. So now in each of these 12 stitches that I just did in the gray beard, I'm going to go back and do one stitch into each of those with this pip squeak yarn. So go down pull up a loop. You can't see it because they're kind of fuzzy. There's two loops there. Yarn over, pull through. And you're just going to do 12 single crochets. Leave that one out. Don't weave it in so that you can use it to stitch on later, but everything else you can weave in the ends of and get it all cleaned up and looking extra cute. The last little body part that you need to crochet is the nose. So I'm going to be using black yarn and I'm going to make a slip knot. I'll tighten that up. And now we just need to start with a chain three. So one, two, and three. Now we are going to work these as a tiny little row. Beginning in the second chain from the hook, here's where our hook goes. If you can see with the black yarn, here's our first chain. This is the second chain. That's where we're going to put our first stitch. We're going to do a single crochet into that stitch. And then we're going to do a single crochet into the next chain right here next to it. So you have two single crochets. I'm going to chain one, turn my work over. Now we're going to be working back along this tiny little edge, this tiny little row here. We're going to just do one single crochet into each of those two stitches. So there's one, make sure you grab both loops, and here's two. I'm going to chain one and turn my work again. So I'm working back along those stitches. We want to take both of those stitches and turn them into one stitch. It's a single crochet together. So we're going to go down underneath the loops, pull up a loop, just like that. Without yarning over, go under the loops of the next stitch pull up a loop. You should have three loops on. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. So right there at the top, there's only one stitch where there used to be two. Now to finish this off, I want to go all the way around this piece and create kind of a border. So in the same stitch that I just put that last single crochet, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to do another single crochet. So it's kind of my corner. And then I'm going to turn my work and each time I'm going to turn kind of clockwise so that I'm working around the outside. Now down what what used to be the left side, we've turned it. I want to put three more single crochets kind of evenly down this side. There's one. Here's two. And in this corner here, I'm going to place a third. Now I want to do one more in that same stitch that same kind of corner. And you can see as I'm working, I'm turning my work again. So now here on this end, I'm going to work just one single crochet and now we're to another corner. So in that same stitch, I'm going to go back down, do one more single crochet. I'm once again, turning my work. And now I'm going to work up this final side and I'm going to do one, two single crochets. 
and I want to slip stitch. I don't know if you can see it because it's black, but I'm going to slip stitch under the first single crochet of that whole border. And it's done. You can leave yourself a long tail and cut the black yarn. And then you want to finish off by pulling that through. And there's your nose. At this point, I am going to weave in my starting tail. And because I've kind of pulled these edges open, you can see through that a little bit. So just make sure when you're weaving your end in, you cross over those kind of openings. They'll tighten right up. Let's start assembling our koala. So I have my nose and this is the headpiece. That's what I start with is sewing the nose onto the head. I will say that with my finishing tail for the nose, I find if I weave my end in, you can see this is how it is upright. I'm gonna weave it in just under this stitch to the right of it. That makes it look a little pointier, which I want it to do because the nose is a little narrower at the bottom than it is at the top. And I'm gonna sew that right here in the middle, kind of right over my magic circle in the center of the face. And I just need to go down through the head. I'm gonna move over one stitch to the right. I'm gonna come up under the loops of that last row on the nose and pull through. Go over one to the right, go down through the nose and through the head and continue this around until the nose is completely sewn on. I've got it completely sewn on. I'm gonna go down one more time to the back and without cutting off my yarn, I am going to add on the mouth. So I just want my mouth to be about right here. I'm gonna come up through the back where I want the side of my smile to be. I'm gonna go down through the center. Don't pull it too tight. And now come up from the back about the same distance as you did on the right and go down through that exact same hole in the center. And if you loosen it up a little, there's your smile. Now for these, I am gonna just weave in enough of this end and I'm gonna knot this in place. Be careful not to tighten too much because it will pull your smile out of place. You don't want that. And trim off your yarn, but I do not weave in these ends. This is gonna be trapped between the blanket and the head. So I'm just gonna leave myself a tail like that. And the mouth is done. I'm gonna cut myself a fairly longer piece of black yarn and I'm gonna create the eyes. So I wanna put one eye kind of right over here next to the nose. So I wanna come up through the back. I'm gonna leave myself a tail on the back that I do not pull through. I'm gonna knot that to my finishing tail later. I'm gonna go down through a hole about two stitches long. And there's part of the eye. Now, in order to make this eye wider, make it look more like a circle, I'm gonna come back through the same hole at the top, pull that through and down through the same hole at the bottom of the eye. I wanna do that a total of four times and you can see it looks a little fatter this time. And as you go, what you can do, I'm gonna go back down to the back side. This is my third pass. But this time I'm gonna make sure that this piece of yarn lands on the right side of the eye. And you can see that bulked it up a little more. I'm gonna do it one more time. And I'm going to pull on that tail so that's not loose. And this time I'm gonna pull my yarn to the left side of the eye so that it, it fattens it up on the left. And there's one eye. I'm gonna take that same yarn tail. I'm not gonna cut it or do anything else with it. And I'm just gonna come over and do the same thing on the other side. Once I have the eyes looking pretty good, I am going to knot these two. And I am going to trim these, but leave it a slightly longer tail. And I'm not gonna weave these in again. I'm just gonna leave them on the back. There are two other additional details I like to add to the front of this. I'm using white yarn. So I've cut myself a length of that. I wanna add kind of a white to the outside of this eye. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white right here under the nose, because if you look at pictures of koalas, they have something like that. So I just wanna come up through that same hole that I've worked this entire eye in. Leave myself a tail on the back to knot to. I'm gonna go down through the same hole all the rest of the stitches were done in. And when I pull it through, I just wanna make sure that I angle that to the outside of the eye. Kind of fit it, it's almost like you tuck it underneath the black portion and you tighten it up and voila, he has the white to an eye. 
I'm just going to repeat that. I'm not going to cut off my yarn or do anything different. I'm just going to come over here to the other side and do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to, once again, without cutting off, bring my tail down here to the bottom side of the nose. I'm going to tuck it down on the other side over here, kind of opposite where I came up. And I'm just going to make sure that the white stays underneath the black of the nose like that. Once you have everything crocheted and your face all embroidered on, it's time to sew the koala himself to the blanket. If you're sewing onto the Cuddle Buddies blanket, I like to sew them on so that his little hands are going to be holding the frames created by the block joins. So I like to test it out, see where it's going to look good. And once I'm pretty sure I have it in position, I start by sewing on the head. So using the long tail that you left on the head, I'm going to thread that onto my yarn needle. All you need to do is go down. You're going to go under both of the loops created from the stitches in your last row. I'm going to go down through underneath those loops and through the blanket. I'm going to pull that through. I'm going to move over one stitch to the right. I'm going to come up and go under the loops of that stitch and pull it through. Move over one, go under a new set of loops. And I'm going to do that until I go all the way around and this head is fully attached to my blanket. Once you've sewn this piece and any of the other pieces on, I like to go under a couple of stitches with my tail and I'm going to go through that loop to knot this. I am going to weave in this end and then trim off the excess. Next up, I'm going to sew the ears on. I am leaving about eight stitches here at the top unworked because I want them to be on the sides. So once you get that positioned, you can thread your yarn onto your yarn needle. And the trick for doing this is to make sure that the ear is right up next to the head. I am going to be stitching through this row that we did in the gray beard yarn. I don't want to stitch through the fuzzy stuff because I want that to remain kind of popped up. And I don't want to stitch through the white because you'll see that part. Although I will stitch through the white here when I attach it to the head. So I say that and I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to go just down through those stitches underneath the furry part where my gray beard yarn is. And I like to run a stitch through the head itself and then through the ear because I want it to look attached. So I actually am attaching them. And then I'm going to run all the rest of my stitches along this line here from the row of gray beard and I am going to stitch along this bottom here. You kind of tuck it under if you want, but I'm going to stitch right along here and attach it to the head itself. If you wanted to here on the end where you're, the ear might kind of pop up because that's the furry stuff, I have come up through the center of my furry area. I'm going to go down through the head itself. And because they're pretty much the same color, when I tighten down, you can't see that stitch and it is tacked down the edge of the ear. Then I'm just going to knot this tiny little end and weave in what's left of it. The last thing to do is attach the little paws. I do like to put them so that they are overlapping the head just a little bit and that he's holding on to the frame of the blanket. So I'm going to stitch those on, make sure I like where they're sitting, and then stitch them on the same way I did the head and the ear. I hope this tiny little koala holds your heart in his hands just like he does mine. Happy crafting!